What is avian influenza? Bird flu. Bird flu is a group of viruses normally found in wild water birds, such as ducks, geese and swans. It usually spreads in bird droppings in water. There are lots of types of bird flu. Not all of them are dangerous to people or birds, but chickens, ducks and geese can pick up the virus from wild birds all their droppings and it can cause serious disease in chickens. Why is it really bad at the moment? About 25 years ago, one type, H5N1, spread from geese and poultry in Southeast Asia and back into wild birds in a form that caused a lot of disease in them. And variants of this version have continued to spread in wild birds as they migrate seasonally. Since 2019 in Europe, we've had lots of deaths in wild birds, deaths in species such as seabirds and at times of year, particularly summer, when we wouldn't normally see this. This has grown worse each year and is currently present in Great Britain and many other areas of the world. Because we have such large outbreaks in wild birds, lots of domestic birds are picking it up too. Why is it important to protect your birds? The strain of bird flu we have at the moment kills birds quickly. Chickens in particular have no immunity and almost no chance of surviving bird flu. They often have painful seizures and struggle to breathe before they die. It can also infect animals that eat the dead birds, like otters, foxes, seals, birds of prey, cats, dogs and ferrets. These animals can get really sick and die quickly. We don't currently have vaccines available for animals in the UK, so stopping them picking it up in the first place is the main thing you can do to protect your animals. Can people get infected? Yes, they can, but fortunately so far, with the strain in Europe, very few people have picked it up from birds and none from other mammals. Most people are not very sick and at present it doesn't spread from person to person. This could change if the virus changes and no one wants to trigger the next human pandemic. It is really important for anyone involved with sick birds to talk with a health professional about what they should be doing to not get ill. See gov.uk website for further details on avian influenza guidance. How do I protect my birds? Preventing any contact with wild birds or their droppings and feathers is very important. The things you can do include Keeping any new birds apart from your existing birds for four weeks until you know they aren't ill. This is called quarantine. Keep your birds confined to housing, sheds, greenhouses, runs or pens, ideally with a fully covered roof, tarpaulin or solid, to prevent wild bird droppings and feathers falling into your bird housing or washing in from the rain. The side netting on runs and pens needs to be small enough to keep wild birds out. Keep your poultry food, bedding, water and equipment clean, locked up and away from potential contamination from wild birds and rodents, for example in securely sealed plastic tubs or metal bins. Keep a change of shoes like a pair of garden clogs at the door of your bird pen so that you aren't tracking wild bird droppings into your pen from your garden. Alternatively, you can scrub your footwear with disinfectant before going in the pen. Registering your birds. All UK bird keepers must now officially register their birds regardless of the size of their flock. The only exceptions are non-poultry species that are kept inside homes or in fully enclosed structures with no access to the open air. Keepers in England and Wales can register using the gov.uk website and those in Scotland should use the Scottish Kept Bird Register. If you're in Northern Ireland, use the DARA Bird Register. This will help reduce the spread of diseases like bird flu or Newcastle disease and make it easier to lift disease control zones sooner. What do I do if I see dead birds? Dead birds, whether wild, 
or your own should be reported to DEFRA. Don't handle them, if possible, and keep pets away. To report suspicion of disease in domestic, pet, poultry or captive birds. And to report findings of dead wild bird species, visit their respective pages at gov.uk. If you are worried about your own birds or aren't sure what to do, phone your vet. There are vets who specialise in birds and if your normal vet can't help, they must direct you to someone who can. If you are worried about yourself or a member of your family, you should contact your doctor. Thanks for watching and enjoy looking after your poultry.